SMT Nation, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in to watch this episode. It's a big day in wireless telecom for the big carriers, and I've got the news for you. We've got an update on the Spectrum Auction 110 that is ongoing. It started this morning, and the first round, the first phase or whatever you want to call it, it's completed, and we know how much money was spent. We don't know which carriers, but I do have some information and a little bit of insight on what's going on. So if you want to learn more about this and you're excited about this, stick around for this video. First time here, consider subscribing if you like this video and want more from the SMT, and then turn on the bell notification so you never miss an upload. All right, so the early results are in, and the demand seems pretty strong given this particular type of spectrum that's up for auction. This is mid-band, specifically geared towards 5G, 100 megahertz of it. It is contiguous in nature. We've got 3.45 megahertz to 3.55 megahertz, Goldilocks 5G spectrum. So it sits essentially right below CBRS and C-band, and it is going to go high power like C-band, not CBRS. So starting today, Tuesday, October 4th, or excuse me, 5th, uh, the bidding has begun. The agency is releasing information, the FCC on the bids. Uh, they're not letting us know the identity of the bidders. Uh, we do know who's in there and who it could be, uh, but purely speculation as to who got what and how much of it. We'll know more on those details in January. First round results totaled $609 million. Demand for the spectrum appears to be mostly meeting whatever supply is there. So, um, you know, I looked at some of the numbers, I looked at the opening bidding price, and it seems to come up just a little bit. So it looks like the demand is strong and it is there. Usually when demand is down, we see the pricing really start to drop in the auction format. So most definitely, we've got Verizon, AT&T, T-Mobile, and Dish are active in this based on this pricing. So most any entity can actually successfully bid on in a given PA or market is going to be 40 megahertz. So based on this particular total of dollars that we know disclosed from the FCC, and based on the geolocations of the markets, it looks like the big three, or I should say the big four, including DISH, are likely going at it for 40 megahertz of this stuff. So it looks like the demand is there. There won't be mid-band for a few years. So this makes sense. I think that is a big factor in this. So AT&T is going to pay whatever it takes to get 40 megahertz national, in my opinion. Uh, they didn't go so heavy in C-band, such as Verizon. T-Mobile, the same thing. They've got plenty of 2.5 gigahertz. So it makes sense that they may lay low because they also have PCS uh, and a lot of it. But it remains unclear whether or not T-Mobile and Verizon, you know, and, and even Dish, how deep they're going to want to go with these licenses. So even based on the just over a half a billion dollar first day, I would expect that to pick up here uh, once more of the major markets are getting auctioned and their concentration of licenses go up at that particular time. So at the current pace, this auction may be pretty close to the per megahertz pop price of C-band. I think it might be pretty close, kind of my prediction. Um, it There just isn't as much spectrum concentration as we saw with C-band. This is 100 megahertz, and then for C-band, it's 280 megahertz. So I'm sticking with my low $30 billion range for the total auction, and the reserve for the auction is just under $15 billion. So that's currently what the update is. That's what we're at. I think this is an indication of things to come. So you've got New York, LA, Chicago, the big markets, they're there, San Francisco, Baltimore, Philly, Boston, Dallas, they all went in the top 10. And uh, you'll see Cleveland's there. I think they came in at like number 12 or 13. So they're big there. You know, we've got 4 million uh, people here in this PEA, in this market. And you'll see the start of the uh, bidding pricing was 1.2 million. And it ended up, uh, I guess the what was the posted there? 1.352 million. So it went above uh, the uh, initial price. So interesting to see how this plays out. I'll have more updates. So most definitely stay tuned to the channel as I make videos following the days of this bidding. If you enjoy this and you really liked it, please rate this video. That helps out the channel and share it to your socials. That helps as well. And uh, check out all the links that are in the description box for what we've got going on with the channel. The Patreon link is there. We got my email address if you want to send me screenshots of speed tests and uh, got the Twitter handle, that's neat tech. So check us out on all those things. Reach out and get engaged with the SMT Nation. Thanks for watching. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this first day and the predictions that I've set forth. Get that discourse going in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all in the next video. Peace.